Hello D Nation and welcome back to yet another one of a kind and unique unbox and review episode. Today I am going to be unboxing two 118 scale die cast gas pumps of which one is a vintage gas pump and one is a digital gas pump and both are manufactured by Lucky Die Cast Road Signature Collection so stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, the packaging on these are standard window type boxing manufactured by Road Signature and this boxing comes with all the product branding and information and a see-through packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging before we crack these open. And with that out of the way and as we get these unboxed, please be careful while using sharp objects and keep in mind to keep these die cast collectibles away from children below the age of 5 as the tiny parts can be hazardous. So keeping this in mind, let's get these open. To begin with, these 118 scale gas pumps are the most realistic designed gas pumps made with movable hose pipes and nozzles. The shiny metal body, the paint job and the decals add to the beauty and the realism of this product. These highly detailed die cast gas pumps are made for a diorama setup which could be a perfect companion for your die cast motorcycles or car collection which would give you an idea as to why I got these. Well here we go. I started getting a few accessories for my diorama build that's coming up in the near future and these are just few of the accessories that I got so far so I thought I'd share it with you. And by the looks and the feel of these awesome die cast gas pumps, I should admit that I'm happy regarding the build as they have quite a good build quality with weight to them and are really sturdy and quite premium looking. These die cast gas pumps have quite a lot of intricate details and are manufactured mostly of die cast and a few components with ABS plastic which make them premium looking. These gas pumps measure in at 5.25 inches in height, 1 inch in width, 1.5 inches in depth and weigh in at about 399 grams depending on the model. And what's impressive with these gas pumps are that all the details and the paint job of the accessories are spot on and realistic including the branding details which is simply amazing. So the sky is the limit with these amazing die cast accessories and I can't wait to put them to use. So stay tuned and let's see how this turns out. Well on the whole, premium is the word with these gas pumps and your guaranteed die cast accessories which are built to last and will warm the hearts of any die cast collectors or hobbyists for a diorama setup or a vintage collection and moreover is well worth the money you spend for it. And these die cast gas pumps come in various shapes, models, colors and brands but I like these two the most as they match up the color scheme of the diorama built I have in mind so I got these and as you can see I've got a vintage gas pump and a more recent digital gas pump. So let's stay tuned and take a closer look at the premium exteriors of these gas pumps. And kindly find further features and specifications regarding these premium die cast beauties in the description below.
Well, I also came across these PUBG 20 litre gas can keychains that I thought would go perfect with this setup, so I got a couple of them. Well, let's do the needful and go ahead and take a look at these beauties. So stay tuned and let's take a look. Well everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with these premium diecast gas pumps and I'm really happy and excited to add these to my ever growing diecast accessory collection for my final diorama setup. And this gives me another reason to consider building a diorama using these amazing accessories. So now let's place these diecast gas stations on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at these beauties in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. A die-cast toy is a toy or a collectible model produced by using the die-casting method of putting molten lead or zinc alloy in a mold to produce a particular shape. Such toys are made of metal with plastic, rubber, glass or other machine metal parts. Holy plastic toys are made by a similar process of injection molding but the two methods are distinct because of the properties of the materials used. The metal used in die-casting is either lead alloy or more commonly known as ZMAC which is an alloy of zinc with small quantities of aluminium and copper. Lead or iron are impurities that must be carefully avoided in Zamac as they give rise to a deterioration of the metal commonly most called zinc pest. The most common die-cast vehicles are scale models of automobiles, aircrafts, military vehicles, construction equipment and trains. Although almost anything can be produced by this method like Monopoly game pieces, furniture handles or metal garden sprinklers and a lot more. And for further information on die-cast, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones any one of these amazing and premium die-cast accessories that I've featured in today's video, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts on these amazing 118 scale diecast gas pumps and also let me know which one of these are your favorite. And I want to take a moment to thank all my D-Nation subscribers and followers for your constant support and feedback and this is much appreciated. So please continue to support D-Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos and stay tuned for a lot more unique and fun episodes coming up. And this brings us to the end of this amazing unbox and review episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for a lot more fun episodes coming up. Well thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one.